So here we are at Link Engine Management. Link is a new company to the USA, but they've been around quite a while in New Zealand, like 30 years. Now Link makes standalone engine management systems and they're a great value. They have a lot of features for the price. Um, this is the Atom system. This is a very basic system. It's all you need to run like your uh, your four cylinder car. Doesn't have all the all the channels. It's like a basic stick it in, program it, and you're ready to go. It has a glass filled nylon case. I kind of like that because it's non conductive and it's a sealed unit. Um, so it's pretty dust and water resistant. It's a good basic system. Get your car running, do an engine swap or something. Nice, simple, clean, lightweight. Now this was the uh, this was the very basic system, but Link has uh, systems all the way up to uh, the the Force GDI. Now now this is a uh, pretty cool system. Like uh, everyone knows that if you have direct injection. You have to have high voltage drivers. Most ECUs, it's a whole separate box, and you got to run with your other with your other ECUs. So you have two big old boxes. So you have to find a place for the car. Link combines everything in one unit. Um, so you have your ECU, you have your your high voltage drivers. Uh, it's all ready to go. Direct injection. It's awesome. Another cool product that Link has is uh, plug and play systems. Now you get a, a circuit board, you have an OEM type connector, it goes inside your stock ECU case, except it's a whole standalone with all the standalone features. So a lot of OEM cars, it's really hard to get uh, any kind of tuning out of the OEM ECU uh, with all the really sophisticated controls. Like you might unplug something, um, like a door switch, and the whole car goes crazy. Well, Link, Link has solved that with this. They have a whole list of plug and play units. Um, it's totally awesome. You don't have to deal with making the wire harness, get rid of that OEM confusing stuff, and get a standalone. All of the Link ECUs uh, have a CAN output, so with, with a CAN, it's really easy to uh, connect to like uh, dash displays, and uh, this is their Dash 2 Pro display has data logging capability. You also have accessories like um, like a wideband driver and, and, um, and a knock sensor. Uh, this thing, the input, you can plug it right in. Use uses the input from the knock sensor to switch timing maps, dial back your timing. You can choose it to change your AAFR. And you have inputs for two of these, so you can put one on either side of the motor, just because the knock signature is going to be a little different. And uh, it's awesome. So Link has everything from entry level to pretty pretty sophisticated, all a reasonable price. They're new to the US, but they're an old company with a lot of experience. The 2003 Evo 8, uh, it's an aluminum rod, uh, 215 stroker. I run a Link Fury ECU and I do individual EGT through CAN as well as wideband in my dash. Uh, Link is pretty cool that they have two channels. I also use uh, oil pressure, coolant pressure, fuel pressure, crankcase pressure, all for fail safes. It's actually saved me, uh, you know, last, last outing, uh, we had a head gasket lifting and uh, the coolant pressure noticed it. ECU shut the car down in third gear to, you know, save a major problem from happening. I run it on methanol. It's uh, eight injector setup. Uh, the ECU like seamlessly controls uh, the uh, stage injection. I do some other odd stuff like you know, pulse width modulate my water pump so I can actually get this alcohol engine up to temperature when it's cold out. I do um, you know all the fun no lift to shift stuff, and I, I'd like to actually do uh, some e throttle for the uh, strain gauge shifting. It's completely configurable. I can set up fail safes any way I want them. Um, even like fuel tables based on certain things, like they're four dimensional and I can just, I can make it based on anything that I like, that I want. So that's Link ECU. Thanks guys for taking your time to explain things and thank you for uh, showing us your car. Yeah, no problem.